Friday, Ranger Nation. You made it another week, so welcome to the Ranger Raking Review, the show that goes over everything that happened in your world of Power Rangers and Tokusatsu. Yeah, we have Kevin Rider news this week. <laughs> and uh, as well, of course, as Cure Major news, Ultraman Z news, got some Godzilla news, and in Power Ranger news for you guys this week. Tons of stuff for merchandise, and I actually had to split in the show now. We have regular merchandise news. And we have Lightning Collection news because we have a lot in both. I'm talking about Zeo Megazord. We got things like, hey, do you know we're getting an Ethan figure? Neat. Lots more to come. As well as what in the world's happening with Wave 6. We thought we were getting Tommy and now we're not getting Tommy. We have, I'll break it all down for you. I hope you have your drink. I'm also going local. Civil Life. If you're ever in St. Louis, give him a drink. The Ranger Week in Review, hashtag not sponsored, is starting right now. Since I cracked the drink, I can't, like, retake it, so that's, that's it, that's, that's the thing. So, hey guys, how are you doing? I am back this week, sorry about last week, uh, depression basically just kicked my butt, and I had absolutely, uh, no willpower, no nothing to get a show done, even with Saber News, but this week I am kicking depression's butt back, at least, and I am here with another Ranger Week in Review. If you were new here, check out the title cards up below. I will try to have all of them going as well with where we go. We do Ranger News first, then we go to Kamen Rider, Super Sentai, Ultraman, and Godzilla, and then any other random Toku news we have. Don't forget, tonight, if you're watching on Friday, Ultraman Z airs 7.30 Central Standard Time, completely for free on YouTube with English subtitles. Watch live with your friends. I think that is it, right? Right? I'm back. I'm standing up. I've got some energy. Let's get going and talk about some Ranger news. Oh, uh, this is an American brown uh, ale, by the way, if you're wondering why it's so dark. Absolutely delicious. In Ranger news, we are finally getting another fan Friday from Hasbro. Oh, so Hasbro Pulse, you know, they do these Fan Friday things I'm like, oh, look at these new things coming out. Look at these new things out. And us Ranger fans are like, hey, someone in Malaysia found a new figure we didn't know about. Cool. Like, this is what our life is right now. But they will probably announce some of the figures that we already know about. But hopefully they've had a track record of uh, making sure they have at least one or two extra things that we didn't know about. So if you've paid attention to the show, you might not be all surprised, but I'm thinking there might be one or two in there. So it's going to say revealing lightning collection news that's sure to please. going to join John and Corey from the Power Rangers team. They're going to kick off their celebration of National Power Rangers Day, which is the 28th of this month, with some lightning collection news, and they're going to be doing a QA. and a uh, They're going to be answered during a live stream, but if you want to go ahead and get your questions in, do it on their Instagram or Facebook profiles and get your questions in to Hasbro. No, they're not going to tell you anything about the next season. They won't break anything, you know, breaking news. But I have definitely seen people asking them, what are they going to do about quality control? Because that paint on the Omega Rangers, whoo, yeesh, some of them are not, not good. Uh also, if you follow the YouTube account of Power Rangers, like Power Rangers official one, they post a lot of clips like, hey, best of yellow fights, and, and they do things like that. Apparently, they did one uh, about Blue Rangers, and they have a good chunk of footage from Going Ape, which is not actually aired in the U.S. yet. So, if you want to take a clip of it, go check uh, their official page. <laughs> it was Ranger Command Power Hour that was like, wait a second, something is not right with this. We shouldn't have actually seen this yet, so I don't know. They Maybe even they are confused as to what we have seen and what we have not seen over here. Not too much in comic news this week, just that the uh, reprint of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers number 50 came out this week if you didn't get that uh, picked up. So it has the new cover for it right there, and no new things are coming out next week either, which is really strange. Uh, so we're in a bit of a lull right now before Dragon New Dawn, Ranger Slayer, or Dragon New Dawn comes out. We already have Ranger Slayer. It was really good. If you haven't picked it up yet, it is really good. <laughs> what do you think? Are you guys happy that I'm back standing up again? I, uh, I tried sitting down, but guys, I'm just too animated. You can't put me in a seat when I talk about Ranger news, because now we're going to go to gaming news, because this week in gaming news, we do have a little bit, and that is going to be for Heroes of the Grid. We got some news that the Squat and Baboo pack are going to be happening. It's going to be very similar to the Bulk and Skull pack, and then there's going to be another one, Legendary Rangers Forever pack, with a bonus, more details to come, and yeah, that is going to be another pre-order campaign. Remember, if you don't want to get in on the pre-orders, you usually can just buy it once it has the 
regular release. So if you miss out on the pre-orders, don't worry. You should be able to buy it after the fact, just like that other Bulk and Skull expansion that they did. Now it's time to go to merchandise news, which is the biggest chunk of Ranger news of the week. It usually is this time of year. So in merchandise news, we're going to start with the stuff that's not Lightning Collection, like this pack right here. It's a little bit just to the point. Here you go, guys. All five Rangers plus Evox, a total of, I think, 15, 14 pieces. They have some accessories. You're going to get a Cheetah Claw. Um, I know you only got one Cheetah Claw whenever you got Fury Mode Red, so if you're wanting two, like, that's another way. Um, you just kind of get a bonus one, you know, if you want all the figures. They're just the basic ones. I actually don't even have any of them down here, but they're just kind of, say, a re-release, but there you go. All five Rangers plus Evox and some accessories. However, one, I don't have a price for it yet. And two, they do not include keys. Anything that we've, uh, all the photos and everything, none of them include keys. Doesn't say anything about it. So if you're wanting to collect the keys, no go. If you are just wanting the uh, figures, that could be a uh, welcome way for you to get it. And this one really... This is one of those we knew there was like a dino special pack going to come out and all of a sudden, bam, here you go, guys. It is going to be a big thing about the giant dino team up that is going to happen that has not aired over in the U.S. yet. But there is a pack for it and it's going to have Ethan the Blue Ranger from Dino Thunder. And uh, uh, what is her name? It's Camille Hyde. But what is her? Shelby the Pink Dino Charge. Ranger, which both are in it. They don't really have any lines or anything, but it's really cool that they're at least throwing us a female figure and showing Ethan some love. Who's a good solid blue Ranger? Uh, that is going to be a $24.99 pack. It's going to be a six inch figures, which are the same as uh, Lightning Collectors. Six inches, right? Yeah, all of them are six inches. So normal size isn't uh, going to throw off your displays or anything like that. We do have some images and pre-orders are going to be up for this thing right here. This is going to be the Mighty Morphin Megazord Build-A-Zord packs. Now it's going to come in three different packs and then we learned later this week that it is actually going to come out in a full box as well where you can get all five of them. If you just want to buy them individually, T-Rex is going to be, uh, all of them are going to be $15.99. T-Rex comes by himself, and then you have the legs, blue and yellow, and then you got pink and black as the upper body. Uh, so that's going to have their broke down. Again, $15.99. I don't have if there was going to be like a discount or anything uh, if you buy them all at once, but apparently that is going to be a way to do it as well. No pre-order up yet, though, for the big pack. These are scheduled for a this month August release, and uh, I've seen before where they're $14.99 or $15.99, so just assume that the price is going to be somewhere uh, right around there. Two other things that are up for the uh, fall line of Beast Morphers, you got the uh, Spin Saber toy that is uh, actually up and available for purchase right now, and the Beast X King Mega Bow, which we'll be seeing a lot more of. That is actually going to be a dart one like it's nerf so there's nerf or nothing there you go but uh that is a nerf one and uh, both of those are up on amazon right now if you want to go ahead and take a look and help the channel and with that we move to lightning collection news and in lightning collection news let's just start with the zeo megazord right here it is going to have five swappable helmet so just like the megazord on tv you got the five different ones i don't have a price yet but i've uh, i heard like in translations it's probably going to be around 60 us dollars somewhere in there it's posable i'm sure the packaging right there it has this retro packaging i do really love the packaging on it, it just kind of makes me feel like a kid again again unfortunately no price or anything on it but this is something that i'm thinking Hopefully, hopefully, we're going to find out about it on Fan Friday, which is again happening next week. I was going to say I'll remind you about the Fan Friday, but it will have already happened. So, yeah, here is your warning uh, about that Fan Friday thing. It's, it's going to be on the 14th, which is exactly one week from today. Wave 6, though, in the Lightning Collection, this. This is the one where, like, okay, Zeo Red, boom. MMPR Black, No Shield, gotcha. And then it had this... Yankee Romero for Pet Ice. And we're like, okay, is that in space yellow ranger? And then we also had the one that was Pet SPC Generator. Now, SPC means Mighty Morphin. So we're like, okay, so it's a Mighty Morphin thing. Starts with a G. And at this point, we're thinking maybe Goldar, when the thing actually releases, maybe it could be that new Goldar that was in the, uh, that is going to be in, sorry, I get my tenses really mixed up when it comes to this dino team up. 
but when that happens, they would be out. Uh, the yellow in Space Ranger really threw me off. So then a few days ago, we had saw on a different listing uh, from a website, or this was two weeks ago, yeah, I took last week off. Uh, two weeks ago, I had shown you that there was a listing, but instead of the uh, in Space Yellow Ranger, it had a thing for Golf Romero MMPR, which would be Green Ranger. Now, with Entertainment in, uh, Entertainment Earth's listing, now it says In Space Yellow again. So we have no idea at this point. I want to see actual pictures. I want them to go ahead and fully update it. Apparently, um, the link was up really, really fast. Somebody tried to grab it. Um, they had taken it down, but they are getting pre-orders and stuff up for it. So uh, hashtag follow me on social media. That is an hashtag. I completely failed that. Ranger underscore Liz. That's me. And you get that type of quality quality content ah let's see i have such a headache how about rita rita and zed that wedding set at least a few people have it because i have seen some pictures of it out of box and you might be able to check see if you can find a review of it if you want to give it a look before you purchase it it should be coming out very very soon from GameStop again that was a GameStop exclusive that was uh, $49.99 and I believe pre-orders and everything are still up for it if you want to go ahead and get it this this guys this I had to save this for last in the lightning collection news because this is a little bit more speculation and I kind of wanted to be able to chat about it for a little bit lightning collection a six inch battle pack Beast Morphers with a price of $39.99, i.e. two-pack price. We've gotten two two-packs so far, and this might be our next one. Two figures from Beast Morphers, though. With the BM in front of it, you know it's going to be Beast Morphers, but I would say don't completely count on both of the figures actually being from Beast Morphers with the Lightning Collection. I mean, if I could, I would love if it was the Silver and the Yellow Ranger, just you could boom, buy both, have it done. But they are really, really going with this team up, and there could be a there could be a big chance that it is actually going to be one of the Beast Morphers Rangers with a villain from a certain point in the show. Maybe it could be like I don't know, Roxy and uh, well, Roxy and Zoe. Just somehow give us the female figures, please. Please just give us female figures at some point. Anywho, I'm not gonna talk about that anymore. It would be really fun, and I want to know what you guys think it's going to be. It has the marking of Beast Morphers, but don't forget anything that's interacted with Beast Morphers this year, even like Dr. K, all in grabs when it comes to that team up. And with that, we go to con news, because guys, this year has just sucked for conventions. It just, it has. There's no way around it, unless you went to a convention before, you know, mid-March. So Ranger Stop and Pop, it is the Ranger thing in Atlanta. It's going to be happening March 5th through 7th next year. And they've actually been upgraded to a different hotel, which is going to be a little bit closer to other things. Now, if you already had your hotel reservation for Ranger Stop and Pop, they said that it should automatically transfer. They did post this a few days ago, maybe even a week ago. So at this point, you could probably go ahead and check if something isn't seeming right at this point. But said they're really excited for the new space layout and venue and that you're going to love it as well. You can go to rangerstopatlanta.com to get more information. And that is going to wrap it up for Ranger news. And we got to go to some Toku news now. But of course, I've got to get myself a little, a little sip right here. Mmm. Delicious. St. Louis FC, not bottom of the table yet. Whew, we're, we're fighting. We're fighting. Not bottom of the table yet. If any of you guys have been around long enough, I usually stop talking about soccer in a few weeks. Because we're not very good. But let's talk about the Kamen Rider news. That's stuff you're actually here to hear about, right? Right. Let's talk about Kamen Rider Jin Burning Falcon. We got some release details and pictures of him. Oh my gosh. That that suit to me. That's a mm, that suit is fire. Literally, figuratively, howeveratively. I absolutely love that suit. It's going to be releasing in January of next year, 7,400 yen if you want to go ahead and get it. No other. I'm just seeing some pictures of it. I don't have anything, you know, about number of hands or anything like that. But if it's not coming out until January, you know, I'll have more details for you at some point. I've got to talk about this Zaya spec because, oh my god, um, this is, this thing is hilarious. I, I mentioned this before, hey, this is Zaya spec, and I probably even laughed about the actual cost of it. And you're like, okay, well, let me tell you the cost of this. 
19,800 yen. Let me do a little quick math for you. That's probably about $175, okay? And I could really be wrong because that was quick math. $175. No electronics. It's made of polyester, resin, alloy, and brass. It's made to clip onto your glasses to make your brain look like it's going at 1,000%. And you just got 1,000% hosed. Wow. Okay, the, I, okay, I don't want to say hosed because there are people, you want the official one, you want that... I personally cannot imagine paying almost $200 for this thing and it doesn't have a sound. It looks, someone's like, I can make this for like $5. It's just insane. And if you see some of the uh, reviews of it, uh, well, if you want to get some laughs in at others' expenses, you should watch some reviews. I, I mean, I don't want to say you laugh at others' expense, but... If you want to, you can. We're going to talk about other writer, and then I'm actually going to talk a little bit about Saber, because, yeah, Saber. I missed all of that last weekend, and we'll eventually get to Saber. I promise. But first, I'm going to talk about the CSM Amazon Driver version Alpha. Got new details for that, as well as the pre-order for it is up. It's going to be a uh, premium Bandai Web exclusive. However, it's actually up on Amazon, also right now, for a normal price. So, premium Bandai Web exclusive. We're trying to be up on Amazon also, but it's going to come with the Amazon's core part, the Amazon Blade part, uh, Militant Amazon's register. It's going to be 2400 yen, and uh, yeah, it's up on Amazon for like 250 so if you want to go ahead and check those out, it is set for a December release, but pre-orders are scheduled to end on August 31st. In more Figuarts news, we got some stuff for Gio Oma form. We got some official images for it. We talked about it a few weeks ago in that Tamashi features uh, that happened. Pre-orders are actually available right now. Uh, they just opened today. This is the one that was exclusive to the film Ogre Quartzer, so Gio Oma form. There you go. No price on it yet, but because the, the pre-orders actually aren't open when I'm recording this, so I don't actually have the price for you. Um, sorry! Wibbly wobbly timey wimey. If you still have more money to spend, how about spending it on the Kuga Rising Arkle, a one to one replica right there. This guy is going to be 154,000 yen. It's going to be set for a late November, or early December release. Pre orders are running up until the end of this month. It doesn't have any electronics or anything like that. Okay, so this isn't a DX or a CSM belt. It's just this. So it's a replica, but it does not have any lights or sounds or anything like that. Let's mash through some Sentai news. Ah, we got some pictures for the DX King Express Zabian. There you go. It's going to be 5,500 yen if you want to get him. He was made from the Aqua Kirame stones to protect Earth's oceans. However, he can be used alongside Land Mage for a lot of weapon configurations and for his full potential, of course, you can combine him with DX Machin Express. Sold separately. I'm sure you're surprised. Let's go to Zet News. Ultraman Zet! I will chant his name, guys. I seriously am loving Ultraman Zed. I can't wait to finish O's. Uh, I've got five more episodes of Kamen Rider O's, and as soon as I finish it, uh, I'm going to go to Orb, and I'm just going to binge watch all of Orb, because I'm falling in love with Ultraman, guys. Ultraman Zed Alpha Edge. The official images are up for that pre-order. It's only going to be around 3,500 yen. Cough. 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 I would really love if you guys could go ahead and get it like you did that Mohiti the Zero One figure. Just just the basic one. Yeah, if you could do that, um, that would be absolutely fantastic. It's going to be releasing in December. It's his default form. It is beautiful. And you just, yeah, just chant his name a lot. Again, you can watch it completely free. It's on Fridays. They only keep the episodes up for about two weeks, though. So try to get watching soon before they all go away. Oh, Zet, Zet, Zet. How about King Joe? Yeah, this one's going to be fun. So it's going to be Storge's third robot. We're packing them on. Like, I, you, this show moves fast, right? So it's going to be composed of four parts in its separate mode. So it's going to have core ship, head fighter, breast tank, and leg carrier. These four separate parts can combine to form Storge's version of the iconic Ultraman robot enemy, King Joe. 
This is wild looking. It's going to be 4,100 yen set for a mid-September release. I can't wait to see this guy in action. I I know I slept on Ultraman, guys. I know I did, but thank you to Zed and thank you to Suburaya for putting it on YouTube with subs available to be watched every Friday. I am absolutely in love. And if you miss it, they're, they're just on there, right? So, like, if you miss it, go back. It's cool. They're there for you. I promise. What else we got? We got more uh, figure arts stuff. How about Jeed this time? Jeed Primitive, the new generation edition. We got some official images for that. Set for a December release. It's going to be 6 thousand yen we also got some stuff with the figure art. ultraman ginga strium has that uh revealed it's going to be 7100 yen tamashi web exclusive is going to be releasing in january of this year i have some like i'm just going to toss this into like covid news i have some links um in the world of Toku, in the world as it is right now, people are getting it, and I don't want to, like, bring people down talking about, like, hey, all these people have COVID. So I will have links if you want to see, um, but they're all fine. No, but, like, everybody's going to be okay, but it was just a, a public statement that they had uh, contracted the virus, and so I at least want to make it available if you want to watch, but some people really come here to get away from that, so I ain't going to talk about it. Nope. Let's talk about Godzilla, though. Yeah! It's always good to talk about Godzilla. And then we're going to talk about Spider-Man. Thanks for staying until the end. We still have to talk about Saber. Did you think I forgot about it? We're saving that to the very, very end. Let's talk about Godzilla versus Bailant. Not sure on this one, but a Bailant special color version. Unfortunately, I'm sorry, I probably butchered all of that. It's going to be a premium Bandai web exclusive. It's going to be th uh, 30 thousand eight hundred yen set for a december release there's going to be an led gimmick in it it's actually a re-release of it which was first released in 2013 it was gonna whoa i was i had some weird numbers going in my head 2013 with new coloring uh to better emphasize all of his details more information below if you want to check out that pre-order but now we're going to talk about toys spider-man we got Spider-Man. Uh, he is going to be 7,100 yen. It's going to be set for an August release, so be on the lookout for it soon. And then we have the Leopardon and Marveler summoning set. That one's going to be 22,000 yen for a September release. I remember, I remember when it was like, I think we're going to get these, and then we first heard about it, and now it's a weird thing in the cycle of news. And you're like, I feel like I just talked about this. And you're like, no, that was months ago, dude, when the pre-order first went up. Here they are, there they go. Let's talk about Saber, and I'm sorry it took so long. Common Rider Saber, officially announced last week. I think it was like Thursday. Here we go, I'm finally gonna tell you a little bit of information about it. Please stay tuned though, because on this channel, I will be doing a much, much further breakdown of it. I'll be talking about the toys and stuff that have been released. I'll be going over all of it. But as of right now, I just got to keep this at least somewhat high level. Because again, this is the Ranger Weekend review, right? Here we go. Common Rider Saber. The series is going to focus on two worlds colliding due to the actions of the enemy faction named Megido. I'm going to go with Megido or Megido. Something like that. Usually they go Magi, so I'm going with Magido. M-E-G-I-D-D-O. These two worlds are our world and then the world of fairy tales and fantasy. I don't know who would be interested in fantasy lands and stories and fairy tales other than everyone who watches the show. Automatic win in my book. Our main protagonist is Toma Kamiyama, and he's going to be a novelist and owner of the Fantastic Kamiyama Bookstore. So there we go. Novelist, books, passionate about books. He can't stop talking about it once he gets started. He also has a heated side and values a promise above all else. He becomes Kamen Rider Saber, the Flame Swordsman, and joins the Sword of Logos after having a fateful encounter with the Holy Sword of Fire, Ken Ken Rekka. But we didn't just learn about him, we also learned about other writers. There's going to be a lot of writers, apparently, starting in this season. So first off, Kamen Rider Blades. Now, at first we thought it was, it was like B-L-A-D-Z, like Blaze, and we were like, what is going on? It's actually, after seeing it, Kamen Rider Blades, as in, you know, sword, 
Blade. The Water Swordsman has maintained the secrecy of the operations of the Sword of Logos for a very long time. And then you have Kamen Rider Espada, the Lightning Swordsman and his Toma's childhood friend. However, he has forgotten something important about their friendship. Interesting. I really hope that's a plot point that actually comes to fruition. Then we have Kamen Rider Kenzen, who's going to be the Wind Swordsman, who has a strong sense of justice. Overly talented, he sees Kamen Rider Saber as his rival. And they're not going to be alone, because we're also going to have the Guardian of the Wonder Ride books is Sophia, and then we have Tetsuto Dainshi, who's going to take care of the gear of the Sword of Logos as their mechanic. So we already have four riders announced and two other people that we're gonna have and then they're already saying we have those like one two three they've already announced a lot of cast for this already and another writer if you want to consider common writer caliber who's gonna be the bad guy that i didn't even talk about on the list of that one because we don't really have a lot on him yet but common writer caliber is going to be one of the bad guys and then he is going to be with toros regio and Juos. So those three and Calibur are going to be making up the ones of Mejido, the bad guys. So I hope this was at least a good overview of kind of what we're going to be getting. So it's going to be premiering on September 6th, guys. We only have one more month of Kamen Rider Zero One. Are you enjoying Zero One? What do you guys think about it? And what do you guys think about Saber? Uh, the press conference said that it's going to have over 10 common writers prepare your wallets somebody's somebody used all of the budget we're getting over 10 writers that's fine i'm ready guys it felt it felt really good to be back thank you for staying until the end thank you to my patreons for helping make this and all videos possible um i'm really thinking about opening up um not just a patreon but also doing it on youtube as a way if you want to help support the channel at all but thank you guys so much thank you for staying until the end thanks for being there when i was uh really depressed and and talking on twitter you guys um whether i i liked it or not or i got a chance to see it thank you all so much for reaching out it just Y'all just pull me out. You're my ranger family, and I really appreciate it. No one's told you today. I love you, and you're awesome. I'll see you next video.